What's up guys, Phantom here, back for another video. Today, we're going to be going over the best chapter of Fortnite. This is a very debatable subject, and I'm sure everybody, if not most people, would say chapter 1 was the best chapter. But not everybody was a part of chapter 1, so maybe they would say chapter 2. Well, right now, we're going to be going over a bunch of different segments, such as seasons, skins, POIs, etc. For, for each chapter... And we're gonna, at the end, we're gonna just do a general brief summary and then choose what the best map or best chapter of all time is. But without further ado, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so with chapter one, the seasons, the best seasons of chapter one have to be, in my opinion, I didn't play before season six, so. I can't, I'm not going to say anything before that. I'm sure that, like, a bunch of seasons before that were so good. But I never, I didn't play it, so I, I can't include them. So, from what I played, Chapter 1, the best seasons were Season 7, Season 8, and Season 10. I know a lot of people are going to say that Season 10 sucked. But, because of the mechs. But, like, I honestly like Season 10. I like the idea of having those different zones that did different things. I thought that was kind of cool. I liked Pandora the most. Pandora was really cool. It had a different kind of uh, look to it. It, uh, like its sharpness was all the way up. It was really cool. And it gave you, it, it gave you full shield over time. So I thought Pandora was really cool. I really liked season 10 because... I mean, it, it was just a good season, in my opinion. I think it's better than season nine because season nine was just kind of—I mean, the live event carried season nine, so. But that's the only good part of it. POIs. The best POIs of chapter one were Lazy Lift, Dusty Divot, Paradise Palms, uh, the Hot Springs that are just west of uh, the volcano and northeast of Lazy Lagoon. Uh. Salty Springs, probably, eh, maybe not Salty Springs, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna say Fortnite Mountain, you guys remember that mountain that was like right next to Dusty Divot, that had one chest on top, yeah, you probably know what I'm talking about, if you play chapter one, you know what I'm talking about, I love dropping at that mountain, because you get good loot off the bat, and then you go straight down to Salty Springs, and there was a gas station that was right there, and you can just get a, a gun from a vending machine that was that was right at that gas station because that's that was my strat. I did that every time. And back then, items in vending machines were free. You can get one item for free, so it was really good back then. Uh, skins. The skins were very simple in Chapter One. There weren't any collab skins, really. They only started to uh, introduce some of the Marvel ones. And our first Icon Series skin, which was Marshmallow. Which, his live event came out Season 8, I believe. I th think it was Season 8, but I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, they only had uh, Star-Lord, Black Widow, and then the Stranger Things. And then, obviously, Marshmallow. That's the only collab skins they had. Chapter 2 is where the collab skins really shine. But, uh, skins were okay. So that, that gives it down a couple points. The music. Don't even get me started on the music, guys. I mean, come on. Choral Chorus was probably the best music track of all Fortnite. And it came out in Season 8. Tidy. I really like the tidy sound. I like uh, scenario. <laughs> Billy bounce. <laughs> Orange justice. <laughs> the Christmas music. It was called like uh, I forget what it was called actually. But uh, nostalgia. The nostalgia of chapter one, like. You just, it was the best times back then. You were just hopping on with your friends, playing Fortnite for like six hours, having fun, laughing. It was so enjoyable back then. 
you can play it forever. Nowadays, you're just off in 30 minutes, on I feel. Alright, now, chapter 2. I really, really like chapter 2. Early chapter 2, though. Not late chapter 2. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. I like all of chapter 2. I love chapter 2. Except for season 1. Season 1 of chapter 2 was, like, the longest season ever. Besides chapter 2, season 2. And it, it had no updates. It had one update, which was the harpoon gun. But, uh, yeah, the best seasons of Chapter 2, I think, were Season 2, 3, and 4. I think that's very fitting for the season. And I think, I, I think everybody can agree on that one, honestly. Season 2 of Chapter 2 was probably my favorite season of all of Fortnite. I'm not even lying about that. It's probably tied with Season 8 of Chapter 1. It was such a good season. Introduction of, the introduction of Mythics. There was Choppers. There's Deadpool. Which was, like, the first, like, mystery skin of the season, even though it wasn't really a mystery. Like, it was one of the it was one of the first Marvel collab mystery skins that we've ever had. One of the first Marvel skins, even. Like, that was huge. But, I really, really like Chapter 2. It's like, um, the thrill... Of going to these different POIs, like, to get those mythics. Like, do you guys remember that thrill? Going into the agency, or going into the shark. And then coming out with the mythic at 2 HP. Do you guys remember that feeling? How good it felt, and how scared you were? How fast your heart was beating? Like, those were the best times ever. The grotto, I really liked the grotto. The grotto was a really good POI. I thought it was really cool to have an underground section of Fortnite, and it was so spacious, and I, I just like everything about it. I like where the vault was, and I, I kind of like how they redid it, too. Skins. Most of the Icon skins came out in Chapter 2. They had gaming legends, they had Marvel characters, they had literally all of Marvel, the whole Marvel Battle Pass, the whole Marvel season... Like, Season 4 and Season 3 were really good, too. But nothing's gonna beat Season 2. Like, the Marvel season was really cool. It was something completely new. Stark Industries had the same kind of feeling going in and out with that mythic. The Unibeam was so overpowered. And, uh, yeah. It was just such a good season. Season 3 was the flooded season. Everything was all flooded. Aquaman... Special skin, um, Coral Castle, that brings it down the entire season, but I, I really like season three too. It still had that nostalgic feeling of, uh, chapter two, which is why I really liked it. Um, POIs, the best POIs of chapter two have to be, well, the four, pretty much the four things, not, not the rig. I, I hated the rig. It was really bad. So I gotta say the shark, the grotto, the agency. Stark Industries, Misty Meadows, The Fortilla, Caddy Corner, Dirty Docks, The Lighthouse, Weather Station, <clears throat> and Caddy Corner. You have to agree on that or unsubscribe or dislike the video right now. Because if you don't think any of those POIs were the best, just leave. Click off the video right now. But music. Alright, there, there was no music in Chapter 2. That's memorable, honestly. There really isn't. Well, unless you count the Travis Scott event. If you count the Travis Scott event, this was the best chapter of all time. Because that's by far the best live event ever. Should I rank live events? I might do that, actually. That's not a bad idea. Alright, uh, early chapter 2 was probably some of the most fun I've ha ever had in Fortnite. The introduction of Mythics, like, the, what I, like I said before, the introduction of Mythics, like... Everything. Exotic weapons. Alright, I think that's it. Moving on to chapter 3. I honestly don't even have to say anything about this chapter, to be honest. I think you already know how bad this season is. Or this chapter. A lot of people liked season 1. 
of chapter three because of like the Spider-Man webs and like a whole fresh new environment. But I honestly don't think they did that good of a job on this new map. Obviously, it's literally the old map. If you couldn't under if you couldn't realize already, it's the old map. It's the same thing. I guess we were on the opposite side this whole time. Unless there's just like a whole multiverse, like uh in the DC world how there's all those different worlds like Earth nineteen or Earth one, Earth two, stuff like that. Unless it's like that, how there's a bunch of different Earths and that's how like and these pretty much worlds are just doppelgangers doppelgangers of each other. That's why there's some of the same POIs, but maybe it's like just slightly different each time we go to a new map. I don't really know, but I, I, I know it's the old map. It has to be. There's shifty shafts. There's all of these old POIs. There's Greasy, Greasy Grove in like the same spot it was before. They have the volcano still. If that's not a dead giveaway that it's the old map, I don't understand because there's literally the volcano in the exact same spot. They have the water where Lazy Lagoon was, but they replaced it with uh, Sleepy Sound. So it's so obvious, though. It's so obvious. Skins, they aren't done yet, but they have Darth Vader, they got Spider-Man, uh, Indiana Jones, I don't know if that makes any difference to be honest. Um, seasons, I think that this season is the best so far. I think it's better than uh, the other two. Goku collab, not Goku collab, the Dragon Ball Z collab is honestly so cool. But the mythic, you, you're up in the air too long. When uh you're doing the hamehameha, you're up in the air for like five seconds. How many of you guys have honestly died while in the air using that? Like it's so it's good. It could be used really well, but it's bad. Uh, POIs. All right. <laughs> I don't like this map. I really don't. I, but I I do like log jam. Logjam Lumberyard, I think that's my favorite POI so far. Because I, I really liked Logjam uh, Woodworks, I think it was called, in Chapter 2. I landed there a lot, and since they made it an actual POI, I, I really liked that. I liked that a lot. Oh, and Tilted Towers. You can't forget Tilted Towers, bro. Tilted Towers is back. Everyone's landing there again. It's a great season. They just finished the voting, too. But, alright. So, now, we went over every chapter. Now, time for a brief summary. Chapter 1 was very nostalgic. The best times. The game was my childhood and was the most popular game in the world for, like, two and a half to three years. No one could get off of it. Chapter 2. Uh, early Chapter 2 was probably some of the most nostalgic and most fun that I've ever had in Fortnite. The introduction of Mythics. The thrill you got when you got the Mythic weapons. And people contesting. All those different places. The introduction of cars. There's that knockout mode. Those the Marvel LTMs. Marvel superpowers. Swimming. Fishing. And so much more. Spe oh, Travis Scott event. How, I mean, I said it before, but how could I forget again? Travis Scott event carried Chapter 2. It was so good. Best live event of all time. And then chapter three. Okay, that's it. <laughs> chapter three. Yeah, no. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. I think you guys can leave a comment if you have a different opinion, because I didn't play early chapter one, so I I honestly can't be too biased about it. But I did play all of chapter two, and I can honestly easily say that chapter 2 was the best chapter of Fortnite. You guys can uh, make your different opinions or whatever, but uh, that's mine. I think chapter 2 was the best, mainly early chapter 2, seasons 2 to 4. Uh, but late, I mean, all of chapter 1 was good. I, it really was. But I, I really did have the most fun Playing a chapter 2, especially with my increase of skill. Like, everybody was bad in chapter 1, but when it started to get to chapter 2, a lot of people started to get a lot better. 
like everyone like peace control. I used to watch so many Fortnite videos about how to get better, which is why I have this information for you now. I can I've spread all of the knowledge that I've gained from season six to now, and I'm giving it to you guys. So hopefully you guys tune in the next time when I uh, start giving out some more Fortnite information. But yeah, that's it. Chapter 2 is the best. Oh, but before I go, I just want to mention, I have a clan, an esports team, which I'm going to be linking down in the description below. But if you want to join, we have so many games. We got Fortnite, Apex, we got Zombs Royale, we got Valorant, Minecraft, Roblox. What else we got? We have Call of Duty. We have everything. So if you want to join that esports team, if you want to join our clan, Click the link in the description below. There's no requirements. You just have to be, like, active. Like, participate. I'm on all the time. I'm always talking to people. Always doing partnerships with servers. So, it's going to be... It's a great server. I'm trying to grow. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.